Sean? Yeah, it feels great. Um, it's been a long time. I I wouldn't change it. The route, you know, it made me better. It made me understand the game more. Cherish like the little things, like just putting the helmet on. You know, just going through that gate every day, knowing that I can come here and do what I'm here to do for. So, man, it's, it's I can't put it in words, man. Like it's not. This is not like what I'm. What can I say? Like this is not like the end. This is just the beginning. Now I got the season starting. Now I know I got big things ahead for me and this team. So man, I'm just ready to get started. You said you thought it'd be emotional for you when you yeah. officially made the 53. Yeah. Did you get a call from him? Anybody telling you that? Nah, you I ain't get no call. It was it was weird for the first year. I didn't have to check my phone. You know, like looking at who had been cut or what number, or if I got a 303 or a 720 number. I just went out my whole day with my wife and I, and we just we just looked at each other like we are not stressing. So it was it was like it was wonderful that like we didn't have to stress all day today or yesterday. So it was good. Point where you pretty confident you were going. When I got out the second half of the game, when he told me and Shamar like you're done, I was like okay, like. It was great, man. Um, it just shows that you know, this team, our coaching staff, prize on players that that work hard and don't give up. Like, just look, I know it was beating the dead horse, but look at Shelby, look at Mike, look at, um, you know, Chubb. You know, he was a first-round draft pick, but all the injuries he had to overcome, Vaughn, what he overcame last year, Cortland. Uh, we got a bunch of guys, man, that overcome a lot of adversity, and we could have just hung it up or listened to the people that said we weren't good enough or the things like that, but we just kept working. And I think this team, I think that's what our mo- like our motive is going to be is just not giving up. We got a bunch of resilient guys on this team. You talked a lot about your story and your your path to this point. When you look back at it, was there ever a point that you considered maybe giving up or, or yeah, stop doing shoot. this? Yeah, before before the 2020 season. Yeah, when I was working, like I said, I was working at Amazon and I didn't know what I was going to do. And um, shoot, good. thank God, Bill gave me that call. And you know, but I I, I don't know what I'd be doing if I didn't uh, didn't get that call from Bill, man. So that's why I'm like, Bill is my <laughs> my safety blanket. Like he changed, like he changed my career. He saved my career, so I appreciate him for everything. I saw you and your wife announced that you're expecting. Yeah. Right? How is that? When did you find out, and how has that kind of influenced this whirlwind of you trying to make this team? Yeah. Well, we've been new. We just kept it. You know, for me, I wanted to tell right away, but she was like, "No, just, just say it when the final cut deadline ends." So I was like, "I gotta tell it." So it's just weird how it's crazy. I found out that I'm. I'm not gonna tell you the sex of the baby. That should kill me, but I'm having a uh, having a baby. Made the team, and hopefully, get bigger and better things this year in 2021. And what is that baby doing? In February. Your February. So hopefully, we'll be in the Super Bowl by then. And I just told her if you can make it, cool. If not, we'll just win it for you. So. Your wife is a volleyball coach. Yeah, Rock Canyon. Rock right? Canyon. How has uh, you know your family support, immediate family, especially her? Yeah, no, it's great. Um, you know, she's um a big. You know, she played at Kentucky. Um, volleyball player, so you know, just her journey too. Like, it's, it ties in together. Like, um, so, you know, she wants to be a head coach. She's been one, but with me, you from Cincinnati to here to Miami to Indy, so you, she can't really have a like firm grip to like stay at home and build her career. And now, hopefully, this year and it goes great. We can call home, call Denver home. So yeah. Mm-hmm. I say 2018 um, when I came here the first year and I felt like I had my best camp of like I dominated in the games and practices and um, and I got cut like the last like the last like minute of the deadline that like hurt and I just broke down and Shelby and Zach Kerr at the time was here they just told me like you're gonna be good man just and then I say that was by far the the worst one but obviously nothing beats. 2020 because of COVID and I didn't know I was with the unknown and then I just got the call from Bill and it changed everything. Nah, nah. <laughs> yeah, D. Bill, D-Shawn. just listen to Bill. If I mess up, you're him. Say my name. So he says my name louder than anybody, but it's D. It's D-Shawn. D-E-S-H-A-W-N. Yeah.
<laughs> yeah. Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you.